How does saturated fat in young co coconuts affect multiple sclerosis? Is it okay to eat because I've had people with MS should keep away from fats? Good question. Uh, in, the, in the magazine that came out two years ago, and you should be able to find online, uh, HippocratesInstitute.org, which was called Food Substances, Unhealthy Food and Substances, you're going to find, we also talk about coconut oil, another one of these hit parade things on the raw food enthusiast movement. And what you have to know is that why we like saturated fat is we've given up pork chops and we've given up red meat, we've given up fried chicken. So now what we want to do is we want to get our fat fix. So what we obviously do is we go over to coconut oil. Then there's non-scientists who try to create and fabricate science and tell you this saturated fat is just a great thing. Well, now we'll tell you my findings. 15 years ago, when this just vaguely began to become popularized in the raw food community, I started to have arguments with some of our long-term guests who I've known for a long time and had, in many cases, 20, 30, 50, 60, 100 blood tests on. Because they came to us for some unrelated uh, reason to coconut oil and <laughs> healed themselves of a disease, and we, again, counsel you forever for free, and they were sending in blood tests. Now, they may visit us once a year, once every two years, etc. And here I am yelling and screaming because I see the cholesterol levels and low-density lipid levels in their, in their blood panel is skyrocketing. Here I've seen them for 10 years or 20 years, and they've had perfectly fine cholesterol levels, 150, 140, 130, and now they have 250. And I'm arguing, saying, we're at, at best you're eating whipped cream and you're probably eating you know, steaks. And they're yelling back, and, and I wasn't listening. And by about the fifth, sixth person, I kept hearing the same words, coconut oil. But coconut oil is good. Now, look, it. I can relate to this. When I gave up meat, I liked meat, and I still wanted the fix for the oil. We just didn't know coconut oil then, thank God. I would have been taking a jar of coconut oil a day and sticking it down my throat or sticking it in a blender like a lot of you do out there and putting a little of that agave syrup in it. And if you really, maybe some of that so-called raw chocolate stuff. And then you really get a fat fix and a sugar fix at once with a stimulant. It's really like a great drug that you'd be taking. So these people were frankly taking coconut oil, and I'm sure not just a little bit of it occasionally, but large amounts of it. And what it was doing by putting saturated fat, non-animal saturated fat into the gallbladder and liver, it was making you the animal with the gallbladder and liver create your own cholesterol. And so now I've looked at that for 15 years, several hundred people, and I am absolutely committed to what I've just told you. Uh, you there's very few things you couldn't have me uh, waver on. This is what I'm not going to waver on, I can tell you. And the fact of the matter is it's not a healthy thing. Now, those of us who sit down in the living food leadership meetings, we think that probably a healthy amount for a healthy person, not, I never take it so you know this, is about a tablespoon three or four days a week. Uh, if you're eating things like sprouts, you get all this, the good essential oils that you need, and nuts occasionally. You don't need to take these other, other types. But if you're really stuck on this, and some uh, need a pacifier of fat in your mouth, go ahead and take a tablespoon three, four days a week. It's not going to hurt you. Now, there, there are some people precluded from that. They would be people with liver cancer, people with gallbladder problems, People with strong cardiovascular problems just had bypass surgery. We wouldn't want to add any of this saturated fat to them. So it's not directly the coconut oil that does it. It's the effect that it has on the anatomy of the body. So let's go down one last one, and then we'll end up for tonight.